Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in Colpitt's oscillator and clap oscillator. Here the first problem, in a Colpitt's oscillator C1 is equal to 0 0.001 microfarad, C2 is equal to 0 0.01 microfarad and L is equal to 10 microhenry. Find the frequency of oscillation, voltage gain and feedback factor. So here the given data are C1 is equal to 0 0.001 micro means 10 to the power minus 6 farad. Here C2 is equal to 0 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad. L is equal to 10 micro henry. We are going to find out the frequency of oscillation, voltage gain and feedback factor. So in the solution part, we are going to use frequency of oscillation formula. Here F is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of L into C equivalent where the C equivalent value is equal to C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So, this is the formula for Colpitt's oscillator. Okay. So, first we are going to find out the C equivalent value that is equal to C1 value is 0 0.001 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 0 0.01 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by C1 plus C2. So, here we can get the answer as C equivalent is equal to 9.09 .09 into 10 to the power minus 10 farad. So we have obtained the equivalent capacitance value. Then we have to substitute that value in this formula. Okay. F is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of L value is what? 10 micro henry. So 10 into 10 to the power minus 6. What is the equivalent capacitance value? 9.09 .09 in 10 to the power minus 10. Then we can get the answer as 1669314.05. We can simply move the decimal point 6 digits before. So we can write that value as 1.6693 megahertz. 10 to the power 6 means what? Meha. Okay. So next we are going to find out the voltage gain A. A is equal to HF is equal to C2 by C1. Simply substitute the values of C2 and C1 here. We can get the answer as 10. So the voltage gain of the given culpit oscillator is 10. Then we have to find out the feedback factor. A beta value is equal to 1 for any oscillator. So here A beta is equal to 1. From this we can get beta value that is equal to 1 by A. Substitute that value of A here. So 1 by 10 is equal to 0 0.1. So the answer is what? Beta is equal to 0 0.1. Next problem. In Colpitt's oscillator C1 is equal to 1 microfarad. C2 is equal to 0 0.2 microfarad. If the frequency of oscillation is 10 kilohertz, find the value of inductor and the required gain for sustained oscillation. So here the given data are C1 is equal to 1 into 10 to the power 6 means micro. C2 is equal to 0.2 10 to the power minus 6 farad. F is equal to 10 into 10 to the power 3 hertz. 10 to the power 3 means kilohertz. Okay. We are going to find out the inductance value and the gain of the amplifier. Okay. So in the solution part first we are going to use the frequency of oscillation formula. That is F is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of L into equivalent capacitance. Where this equivalent capacitance is equal to C1, C2 by C1 plus C2. Now we are going to find out the value of this L. For that we can get the value of C equivalent first. After that we can find out this L. Okay. So C equivalent is equal to. We have to substitute the values of C1 and C2 in this formula. 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 0.2 in 10 to the power minus 6. Divided by 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus. 0.2 into 10 to the power of minus 6. We can get the answer as 6.667 into 10 to the power minus 7 farad. So this is the equivalent capacitance value. So next we are going to find out the inductance value using this frequency formula. Here the inductance is inside the square root. So we have to square on both the sides then we can get F squared is equal to 1 by 4 pi squared into L into C equivalent. So now we have to move this L to this side and move this F squared to this side. That means unknown value in the left hand side. All the known values are in the right hand side. 
L is equal to 1 by 4 pi squared f squared c equivalent. As we know the values of f and c equivalent, we have to substitute all those values here. So, L is equal to 1 by 4 into pi squared into f is 10 kilohertz. So, 10 into 10 to the power of 3, the whole squared into what is the equivalent capacitance value? 6.667 into 10 to the power of minus 7. So, substitute all those values and then we can get the answer is L is equal to 0 0.38 in 10 to the power minus 3 Henry. This 10 to the power minus 3 can be written as milli Henry. Okay. So, here we can write L is equal to 0.38 milli Henry. That is the answer. Okay. So, next we are going to obtain the gain value that is equal to the ratio of C2 to C1. So, substitute those values here 0.2 in 10 to the power of minus 6 by 1 into 10 to the power minus 6. We can get the answer as 0.2. So, this is the gain of given Colpitts oscillator. Okay. Next, we are going to solve the problem in clap oscillator. Calculate the frequency of oscillation for the clap oscillator with C1 is equal to 0.1 microfarad, C2 is equal to 1 microfarad, C3 is equal to 100 picofarad and L is equal to 470 micro Henry. Okay. So, here we are going to calculate the frequency of oscillation. So, in the solution part, first we have to write the formula of the frequency of oscillation for clap oscillator 1 by 2 pi square root of L into C equivalent where 1 by C equivalent is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So, first we have to find out the value of this equivalent capacitance then we can substitute all those values in this formula. So, here 1 by C equivalent is equal to what? 1 by C1. So, what is the value of C1? 0.1 microfarad. Micro means 10 to the power minus 6. So, 1 by 0.1 in 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 1 by 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6. This is C2 value. And here C3 is a picofarad. Pico means what? 10 to the power minus 12. So, 1 divided by 100 into 10 to the power of minus 12. Then we can get each value as 1 by 0.1 in 10 to the power of minus 6 is 10 into 10 to the power of 6 plus 10 to the power of plus 6 plus 1 into 10 to the power 10. Okay. So, here we have to make that value as 10 to the power 6. So, we can say this value is 10,000 into 10 to the power of 6. So, we can simply add all those values that is equal to 1 by C equivalent but we want only C equivalent. For that we can take the reciprocal of this term that is equal to 9.99 in 10 to the power of minus 11 farad. So, this is what equivalent capacitance of the clap oscillator. So, we yeah. substitute this value in this formula to get the frequency of oscillation. Okay. The formula for the frequency of oscillation is 1 by 2 pi into square root of L C equivalent. So, we have to substitute the value of L and C equivalent here. So, 1 by 2 pi square root of L value is 470 micro Henry. So, 10 to the power minus 6 into what is the equivalent capacitance value? 9.99 in 10 to the power of minus 11. Then we can simplify the terms using calculator. Finally, we can get the answer as F is equal to 0 0.73449 into 10 to the power of 6 hertz. So, this can be written as 734.5 kilohertz. So, this is the frequency of oscillation for the given clap oscillator. Okay.